Hi, uh, I'm Nikhil. I recently joined the department as a faculty member. Uh, I'm broadly interested in theoretical computer science. Uh, before coming to Delhi, I was a research associate at the University of Oxford. Uh, and before that, I was a postdoctoral fellow at Ulm University and at IIT Bombay. Uh, I got my PhD in computer science from the Chennai Mathematical Institute. Uh, I work uh, more specifically at, in computational complexity theory um, and its connections to automata theory and formal verification. Uh, the main goal uh, of computational complexity is to understand the limits of what you can compute efficiently and to prove that uh, certain tasks are inherently resource intensive irrespective of what computer you use. Besides being an actual mathematical question in itself, trying to understand the computational complexity of the problem uh, usually has, has led to some uh, discovery of some very surprising algorithms. A classic example is matrix multiplication. Everyone knows how to, or learns how to multiply matrices in high school. And people have been multiplying matrices for centuries. And it was believed that this is the optimal method until you know, a few decades ago when people tried to prove this high school method was optimal, but ended up coming up with significantly better algorithms. Um, in general, I love thinking about problems with an algebraic or a number theoretic flavor. Over the last few years, uh, I've mostly been working uh, on algorithmic questions uh, about dynamical systems, which pop up in the context of formal verification. For example, like take the, the software in an aircraft controller or like, you know, the one that makes sure an airbag gets uh, activated in the car during a collision. So now these are very safety critical uh, systems and it's very important that uh, the software in these systems behaves as it's supposed to behave. And which is what formal verification is all about. Uh, now, the software in these cars or airplanes, they are extremely complex. I mean, they are complex systems which uh, constantly interact with the environment. And usually this interaction is modeled by a differential equation or a difference equation. And uh, in formal verification of such systems, one encounters a lot of challenging algorithmic questions about the long-term behavior of uh, you know, uh, such dynamical systems. And though dynamical systems have been studied by mathematicians and you know, people in other areas, well, it's only recently that they've been uh, studied from a theoretical computer science uh, perspective. And the last decade or so has seen a tremendous progress in this area. So we now know a lot of concrete connections to classical areas of mathematics and computer science, like uh, number theory, or model theory, formal language theory, or control theory, and so on. Uh, some of these are studied, some of these problems are studied uh, for 2000 years, and even before the idea of computers even came up. And yet, uh, by using tools from computer science, uh, you get a bunch of new interesting ways to look at these classical questions. And I find it absolutely fascinating. Uh, many of the problems I've worked on in formal verification of dynamical systems are inspired by actual practical applications and are close to uh, topics that are of interest to industry. Uh, one concrete example in this case is program termination. Uh, so I'd love to see if uh, the algorithms inside we have developed to tackle dynamical systems, uh, whether they can benefit uh, uh, people who actually build tools for verifying software. And I'm hoping I can collaborate with the industry in this aspect. Uh, like I said, there are plenty of uh, interesting open questions in this area and I hope others find it as interesting as I do, uh, in particular students. Uh, so if you're a student at uh, IIT Delhi and uh, you're mathematically inclined or you're just curious about theoretical computer science, feel free to drop to me an email and we should have a chat. Uh, outside of work, I like to travel, uh, play chess, bike and uh, watch movies. Bye.